we also work on other houses and I've worked on um, two and a half houses, maybe close to three, doing um, before we even got to our process. So it's a process for all the um, partner families. They will be working on other stuff before they even start on theirs. This is living room. Comes all the way back here into dining room, into kitchen. So you have your, your countertop, your sink, uh, dishwasher, sink, stove, refrigerator, and more wall space here with the pantry. My kids are excited. They've shared a room. They're twins, a boy and a girl. Uh, they just turned 15. They've been sharing a room. You know, when they were little, it was fine. It worked out for us. But now that they're older, they've been sharing a room for a long time, and you know how that goes. They're, they're fighting and everything, so they're excited. And my daughter has already chosen her own room <laughs> before it's, it was, anything was even really up, so. Then they're accepted into the program, which then begins about a two-year process of working on their volunteer sweat equity hours between three and 500 hours. They attend monthly family partnership meetings that teach them how to become successful homeowners. And of course, they're doing their volunteer work. So um, at the, about the end of two years, their home is completed. They purchase it through a zero interest uh, mortgage. And we hand them the keys and they uh, move into their forever home. The organizations that have helped me is uh, Habitat for Humanity in coordination with uh, Hacienda CDC and um, the Women's Build. Uh, being a homeowner has been one of my dreams and having the opportunity to find organizations that help uh, people like me uh, to work towards that dream is wonderful. I feel so happy that I was able to get in into this program with Habitat for Humanity. When I worked at the Hispanic Chamber, um, which um, they, I know that they partner with Hacienda, is that correct? Mm -hmm. With Hacienda, and they told me a little bit about the IDA program, which stands for Individual um, Development Account. Um, is It's a match savings program um, for people that qualify. Um, and I was a participant of this program and recently purchased a home because of it. I was saving up for about three years and when the three-year mark came up, I realized it was time to buy. And thanks to the guidance of um, people here in Hacienda, like, like Erika, I was able to understand what I needed to do in order to be able to purchase a home um, and how to prepare for um, when that time came. Some of the programs that we have here at Hacienda are down payment assistance, the one-on-one -on -one counseling, and then just education classes. We pretty much just pick from a lot of different pots of money to allow us to counsel with people and provide the services. Thanks to the tools and the education and the resources through Hacienda, I was able to find the realtor that was a right fit for me, who understood my needs, who felt comfortable working with me, um, and was, um, was very patient through the whole process and helping me understand um, you know, my options and not limit me. I would say if you wanted to go out and buy without a realtor, um, you have a right to do that and technically you don't need one, but it's not a matter of needing, it's something you should want because 
Um, realtors are, are really like multipliers. Um, they, they kind of let you know what the market is like. Um, they have access to homes that clients don't. Um, they understand lending laws because there are just as much as there's opportunities to get into the house, there's also opportunities to take advantage of people trying to get into the house. And realtors can kind of help you navigate those waters. Um, I, I compare a realtor to a doctor in that, yes, you could use Zillow. Yes, you could use Redfin and RMLS online to look for homes. Um, but finding a home that way is kind of like self-diagnosing and using WebMD because you're not feeling bad. You know, you still, there's still a benefit to going to the doctor. There's a definite benefit to going to a realtor. Um, and the nice thing about home buyers is that the realtor fee is not coming out of your pocket. It's, it's really something that the seller pays for, um, but the realtor works for you. So um, I think there's a great benefit to getting a realtor and you should want one. You don't need it, but you should want it. We have many team bills that come out and our realtors are amongst the most enthusiastic and hardest workers. We love our realtors. We, we really couldn't build um, the kind of houses that we do without the support of other, the realtor community. It's a very natural fit because realtors sell homes and, and every time they sell a home they're, they're, they're making dreams come true for families. So they're very supportive of the Habitat program where our families work hard to earn their homes and the financial and volunteer support that we get from the Oregon Association of Realtors is, is really life-changing for many, many families. Refit is something that was put together in 1997 by some local contractors because somebody's child had gotten in a terrible car accident and needed some retrofitting in their home and they volunteered to do that. And by doing that they decided to create a nonprofit and that nonprofit has been in existence since 97 to do those kinds of things for other people that can't afford to do it for themselves. And what we do is we go to people's homes that are low income and have some sort of mobility disability and we make their home safe for them so that they can stay living in their own home for as long as possible. So we'll go in with licensed contractor volunteers and we'll build wheelchair ramps, uh, roll in showers, grab bars, widen doorways so they can stay in their community. Most of our clients actually have been in their homes for 20, 30, even one of them had been in his home for 60 years. So it makes a big difference in their life and the life of the community around them, whether they can stay there or have to go to a nursing home. And with this particular grant that we've got several years from now, wow, we've been able to do probably an additional 20 homes because of the money from the Oregon Realtors Association. I guess when I get those keys and walk through, I, maybe it will feel like it's our home. It feels like it's our home, but it's a process. And I know it's ours, but uh, maybe when we're all done with it, it'll feel, you know, that, that feeling. <laughs>